After the release of the new version of Windows 11, which is 23H2, some users had serious problems with disabling updates. Yep, this topic is still relevant. Please don't ask why people turn them off, because everyone has their reasons. I did some research on this topic, and that's why today I will show you several ways to disable or pause updates in Windows 11 23H2. So, let's get it started. Here we go. We are in Windows 11 23H2 version. The first method is very simple. For this, we need to navigate to the settings. So, click here, select settings. At the bottom, you will see Windows Update. So, click on it. As you can see at the moment, I paused the update for one week. So literally the first method is that we can pause the update. For this, you need to find this option, pause updates. Click here. As you can see, we have four options for one week, two weeks, three weeks, and four weeks. Sometimes you may see even an option for five weeks. So for the example, you can click for four weeks. I want to mention one very important thing. When you're doing this, you need to understand that you will also not receive security updates. So keep that in mind. Also, you can pause the updates, but there is a limit. So it's not a lifetime tip. But completely to be honest, this method is very easy. And I think every single user can do this without any problems. Regarding to the second method, we can temporarily block Windows 11 23H2 updates instead installation for one year. Firstly, you need to hit then key plus R. Then you need to type next gpedit.msc gpedit.msc and hit enter. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. As you can see, we are in the group policy editor. From this window, we need to navigate to computer configuration then navigate to administrative templates. Click on it. At the bottom, you may see Windows components. Click here, scroll down a little bit until you will find Windows Update. This is our folder. Click on it. You can allocate more space to make it more convenient. Manage updates offered from Windows Update. Click on it. After all this process, on the right side, you may see a convenient file, which is select when preview builds and feature updates are received. So you need to double click on it. Please take a close look and take your time because we're going to tweak some important options. At the moment, this option is selected to not configured, but we need to change it to enabled. This is the first thing that we need to do. Now you can read next info. How many days after a feature update is released will you like to defer the update before it is offered to the device? Here you can select maximum 365 days or less. For the example, I will select 364 days. Then, very important, you need to type the current date. It will depend on the moment when you're watching this video. In my case, I will type next 2023-12-2023. You need to understand that this is necessary to type the current date. It's very important. After you typed days and the current date, you need to select apply, click OK, and one more time hit then plus R. This time you need to type CMD and you need to run it as administrator. That is, you need to hit Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter at the same time. Select yes. As you can see, we're running CMD as administrator, which is very important. In the command line, you need to type GP update, press the spacebar, slash force. What I'm going to do, simply to understand, I'm just updating the group policy editor. So press enter. As you can see, it updating policy. Computer policy update has completed successfully. Then you can type exit, press enter. Now we can close this window and we need to restart the system. Click on restart. 
I successfully restarted my laptop and one more time we can navigate to the settings. Click on Windows Update. Finally, you may see next message. Your organization paused some updates for this device. That is, you temporarily disable updates for one year. Indeed, it's much better than one week or four weeks. The thing is, if you want to receive updates again, because in the past I told you that you will not receive security updates, so you need to do the same thing. You need to hit Win plus R, then type GP edit dot msc press enter open it in full screen to make it more convenient and do the same process so we need to navigate to administrative templates windows components here we need to find windows update select this folder and on the right side you need to find select when preview builds and feature updates are received double click on it if you want to receive updates again, you can just select not configured, click apply and OK. I understand some users that it is not lifetime tip, but it's better than nothing. Regarding to the third method, we will disable some updates using group policy editor. Important to know, with this configuration, your OS will stay on the current version while installing Windows update that only apply to the current version. That is, any updates that change the version of this OS will not be installed. So keep that in mind. One more time, you need to hit Win plus R, type GP edit dot MSC, press enter, click on computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows Components, scroll down a little bit, Windows Update, again select Manage Updates offered from Windows Update. This time on the right side you need to choose select the target feature update version. Double click on it. What we need to do? First of all you need to select Enabled, then you need to type Windows 11. Of course, if you have Windows 11, and here you need to type the current version of your Windows. For example, I installed 23H2 version. Select Apply and OK. Actually, that's all. And finally, let's talk about the last method, which is similar to the third one. But for this, we will use Registry Editor. So hit Win plus R, then type Next. Reg edit and press enter select yes in the upper left corner you need to select computer then click on hk local machine from hk local machine you need to navigate to software and from software you need to navigate to policies click on it choose microsoft most likely you will see this folder but if you don't have this folder windows update you need to create one for this, you need to click on the right mouse button on Windows folder and select New Key. Type Windows Update and click on it. After this, on the right side, click on the right mouse button and create the word 32-bit value. Type Next. Target Release Version Target Release Version be sure to type it correctly, then click on the word 32-bit value file that you created. And here in the value data, you need to type 1, select hexadecimal, click OK. That's not all, because we need to click on the rightmost button, but this time we need to select string value. We will almost type the similar text, target, release, version, Info, target release version, info. Double click on this file and you need to type the correct version of your operating system. In my case, Windows 11 23H2. So just type the version of the operating system, 23H2 and click OK. To apply all the changes, you need to restart the system. It's very important. My conclusions. With the help of these methods, you will be able to disable Windows updates. However, you will not be able to receive security updates as well. Briefly, the second method helped me the most 
because it is convenient to pause update for one year. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to fix updates issues in Windows 10 and Windows 11.